Chairman, on July 6th of this year, Asiana Airlines Flight 214 from Incheon, South Korea, crashed on its final approach to San Francisco International Airport, which is in my district. Initial reports made clear that low airspeed was a crucial factor in that crash. It was a horrible accident. Three Chinese 16-year-old girls on their way to a summer camp in Southern California lost their lives. It could have been a, an absolute catastrophe because there were over 300 people, including crew, that survived that horrific day. Low airspeed has been a concern for air safety for almost 20 years. In 1996, the FAA's Human Factor Team concluded that flight crews needed better warnings that the aircraft was reaching low airspeeds. In 2003, following the crash that killed our congressional colleague, Senator Paul Wellstone, the National Transportation Safety Board recommended the FAA study whether to require installation of low airspeed audible and visual alert systems. Following the Colgan air crash in Buffalo, New York, a recommendation was reissued in 2010 on installation of redundant audible and visual warnings of impending hazardous low speed conditions. Now, after almost two decades since the initial recommendation and over three since the recommendation after Colgan, the FAA has not addressed this question of whether existing commercial aircraft should be required to install low airspeed warning systems. I fear that without direction from Congress, the FAA could take years to complete the study. That is why I'm offering this amendment, which provides the FAA $500,000 to conduct and complete a study on this important question within one year. Low airspeed alert systems that cry out, airspeed low, are available and require a simple software change. These differ from the tonal alerts that sound similar to other pilot alerts. The FAA should investigate whether existing low airspeed tonal warnings, such as those in a Boeing 777, provide a sufficient level of pilot warning, or if instead a verbal warning, such as those in the newer 737s, provides a higher level of safety. When the alert signals to a pilot that they are traveling at too low airspeed, they have at best a few seconds to react. It is vital that planes have alerts that are instantly recognizable, clear, and unambiguous. Airline safety advocates argue that verbal alerts are more effective at alerting a pilot that they are flying at too low an airspeed because they are instantly recognizable to the pilot. If a verbal warning is found to be more effective, the FAA should take expedient action to require both new aircraft and existing aircraft to incorporate a verbal warning. Mr. Chairman, I had the pleasure just last week to talk to Sully Sullenberger, the pilot of the Miracle of Hudson River. And he said something very compelling to me. He said that when a pilot is in a position of uh, reacting during a crash, they need every one of their senses being alerted. The senses when you're holding uh, the, the throttle, uh, the senses when you hear low speed alert, and the senses when you see stall. And I thought that was very compelling. We have a number of cases that suggest now that low airspeed alerts that are verbal should be incorporated. The FAA has dragged its feet, and I believe that this particular amendment would be very helpful and save many lives in the future. 